do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update. In this video, I will show you how to use hatch command in AutoCAD. So let's get started. So for hatch command, you can type hatch. Okay, you can type hatch or you can also use shortcut key that is H. Okay, you can also type shortcut key H. You can also select the hatch command from toolbar. So this is the hatch command on toolbar. You can also select from here. But I usually prefer shortcut key that is H. So H enter. Now here this is the hatch dialog box is open. Okay. Now this is type and pattern. So here you can select the type of hatch from pattern or from swatch. Okay. You can click on pattern or you can directly click on swatch to select the hatch type. Now click on pattern. Click here. Now here this is ANSI. This is ISO. This is other predefined. This is custom. Okay. Now click on ANSI. Now these are the different types of hatch patterns. Okay. These are the different types of hatch patterns. From here you can select any pattern as per your requirement. Okay. You can select any hatch pattern as per your requirement. Suppose select this ANSI 32. Now okay. Now see you can see the selected hatch pattern on swatch. Okay. Now again click here. Now suppose I will select uh, this. Now okay. Now you can see the selected hatch pattern here. Again click here. Now go to now angle. Okay. Now you can see the selected hatch pattern here on swatch. Okay. Now directly click on swatch. Now select this. Now okay. You can see this is selected. Again click on swatch. Now select this ANSI 32. Okay. Now see this is hatch is selected. Now go to boundary. So here you need to select the boundary which you want to hatch. Okay. So there are two options. One is add pick point and another is select object. So first I will show you add pick point. Okay. So click on add pick point. Click here. Now in this method you need to click inside the object in which you want to hatch. Okay. Click inside the object you want to hatch. So click inside. Now see this boundary is selected. Now enter. Okay. Now you want to see preview. Now click on preview. See. You can see the hatch. Now here we need to change the scale because gap between lines here. Gap between lines are very close to each other. Okay. So click here. Now change the scale. Now we need to increase the scale. Suppose 10. Now preview. Now, now we can see the hatch. We can see the gap. Okay. So this is the hatch. Now enter. Now, okay. Now, see, hatch is done. Okay. Now, again, H enter. Now, change this. Click here. Other predefined. Now, suppose angle. Okay. Now, add pick point. Now, click inside. Enter. Okay. See, this is done. Okay. Now, suppose you want to change the scale. Double click. Double click. Now change the pattern. Suppose click here. Now okay. Now okay. See here we need to change the scale. Now double click. Now change the scale to here we need to make the scale 1. Preview. See this is done. Now okay. So hatch is done now. Now double click and change the pattern. If you want to change the pattern then double click and change the pattern. Now preview. You can see. Enter. Okay. Okay. If you want to change the pattern, then double click and change the pattern. Okay. Next, H enter. Now, change the pattern. Uh, NSI, suppose I select this NSI 31. Okay. Now, I'll take select object option. Okay. Now, click here. Now, in this method, we need to select the object. Okay, we need to select the boundary of the object which we want to hatch. Select this, select the boundary and enter. Now, go to preview. See, we can see the hatch. Okay, now enter. Now, change the scale. Suppose 20. Preview. See, scale is increased. Okay, gaps are increased. Now, again, enter. 
now press click on ok see hatch is done ok double click click here and suppose you want to change the pattern then click on selected pattern select the pattern ok see hatch is done ok now again H enter select object now click on boundary enter now preview see this is now again ok now if you want to change the pattern then double click on this and change the pattern select on the pattern which you want to change suppose uh, uh, I want to select this ok ok now go to preview we can see the hatch means we need to change the scale so uh, make the scale 1 ok see this is hatch is done now ok double click and change the pattern if you want to change now select the pattern ok double click on hatch and select the pattern as for your requirement ok suppose I want to change to this earth ok now ok now preview see here we need to change the scale ok so change the scale to suppose uh, 10 preview see this is uh, I'll make this 20 sorry 15 preview see this is looking better ok so hatch is done H enter select object now click here now ok see hatch is done so this is the select object method and add pick point method ok hope you understand now L enter draw line rectangle here this is 5 feet then this is 6 feet then this is 5 feet again this is 5 feet enter ok so these two points are not closed ok this corner is empty so H enter now add pick point now click inside click inside now here the hatch boundary has gaps and does not completely enclose the area to be hatched ok that means here we need to close these two points ok for hatch we need to close these two points so here and here in this case we need to select the select object method so select object ok now select the lines these are separate lines see so select all the lines this is not a single profile so select all the lines preview see this hatch is this is, this is the hatch ok now ok see hatch is done now this area is not hatched ok this is done double click if you want to change the hatch pattern then change the pattern also see this is done ok suppose uh, take a polyline ok this is 6 feet this is 7 feet this is 6 feet and this is 6 feet enter here also H enter now at pick point click inside here hatch cannot be done ok hatch cannot be done here due to these two points now select object now select the click on the object see this is a single profile ok so select once click here now preview see hatch is done as this is the polyline then select once ok so this is done ok hatch is done ok hope you understand this method how to hatch um, if a boundary is not closed ok so H enter now suppose solid ok now solid now at pick point click inside ok see this is the solid hatch you can hatch by solid like this you can also change the color here ok double click 
you can also change the color here select any color as per your requirement okay index color true color okay you can select any color okay this is the solid hatch h enter okay select solid this is solid select solid change the color as per your requirement then add pick point or select object now select object select the object and click okay this is very easy h enter now change the color now if you want to select object method select object add pick point then click inside okay this is done then change if you want to change this to to any other pattern then change like this see this is changed okay now next h enter now at pick point uh, angle now at pick point click here click here and click here okay click in three objects at a time okay now preview see hatch is done okay now enter see this is this is a single hatch okay now we need to separate this suppose we need to separate select delete okay select select this and delete okay we need to separate this how to separate double click now we need to double click and here we need to click on separate hatches okay now see this is separate this is separate this is separate hatches okay select 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 these three are separate hatches okay so like this you can separate hatch now hatch enter at pick point now select at pick point click here click here and click here enter now see this is double click and click on separate hatches see all the hatches are separate okay now here edge enter then add pick point click here enter okay preview see here this portion is empty this portion is not hatched okay now in this method we need to click on more option method okay now suppose here this is in normal method okay now we need to click on outer then preview see an outer only outer portion is hatched this portion is not hatched okay only outer portion is hatched okay again enter now click on ignore see all the complete rectangle is hatched okay again h enter now at pick point click here enter now ignore see this is has now click on outer okay see only outer portion is has here again double click now click on normal see this portion and this portion is has this portion is empty okay click here now make it normal see this portion and this portion is has the middle portion is empty click here and make it outer see only outer portion is hatched hope you understand how to use hatch command ignore then all the complete rectangle is hatched so hope you understand how to use hatch command so it's very easy so hope you like this video now if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you for watching